Hi, my love. Thank you so much for visiting. The star. You are fully, and I mean, you're completely enlightened. The star card, typically you see someone who is bending down. You're standing upright, meaning you have healed, you've ascended, you've elevated, you're continuously elevating in your life and evolving. Your feet are planted on solid ground. Emotionally, you're completely balanced. This person is naked. This is stating here. You are very comfortable with your own truth and your authenticity. Some of you, you have people who are trying to place blame on you for certain things that's not your fault. Yeah, look at this. The magician, and look at here. The beast that keeps trying to attack you, as I said, the grave that these people dug for you, they should have dug not two, but several. Okay? In my area today, there was a tornado that hit. And I've been talking about weather, and, I, and it, there was strong winds it was stormy i sat outside during this storm i did not flinch i have no fear and i know people do this to me too i, I could show you guys pictures and show you things that have happened to me and you'll be like what just in the last few months and that's why i've taken breaks from the channel some of the stuff and and, and i will say now to the people that watch my channel who have done things to me you have no idea what is coming towards you And no matter how much I can cry out for these people, there is absolutely nothing that can be done because these individuals have been warned multiple times to stop. They stop, they hack, and they spy, and they look for every opportunity, every spell, every hex, every curse. They look for every single avenue that they can find to try and stop people. When you should have really just left well enough alone, you should have just left a lot of these chosen people alone. These people that a lot of these individuals constantly attack, you may bend, but you won't break. There's a lot of people right now who are in their ego. They feel like they're the star. They feel like their magic is going to work. It's not working, not this time. And they're going to pay for they're going to pay for old and new. They're going to pay for what they're doing now, and they're going to pay for everything that they've done. They're going to pay for the things that they've done to you and everyone else in between. And I'm telling you, it's going to hit hard. We will not get out of this year without some very very serious justice being served. A lot of people have thought every single moon cycle or whatever as they've done these rituals and everything that, oh, we're still alive and, oh, we're, we got it. They feel like they won. No. Karma creeps up when you least expect it. Right when you think that everything is going fine, that's when karma hits. And I'm telling you, this is a rude awakening. I have not been able to sleep. I'm waking up out of my sleep crying because of the things that I see. And I won't say it. I've had channels where so much has come out about children and elders. I won't even put those messages out. But I'm here to tell you now, if you're watching my, if you're, you need to stop. You need to stop. Look at that. Temperance. The lovers. There's something here. I, I, Every single reading, we've had a mixture of endings and new beginnings. I don't know what the big deal is to so many people about your life purpose, your life partner, but these individuals, they can't believe it and they want to put an end to it. You see it. The temperance, the page of cups, but look at this. Someone, they can't understand how you received an offer. A lot of you, these are friends, family members, hidden enemies. People, especially from your past, they're watching you in total disbelief. They cannot believe that you have somehow found your own rhythm. You found a balance. You've managed to do things with self-control and moderation, and you're still in this contract. They can't understand how you managed to go through several deaths and transformations. How is it that you're constantly being renewed? How? They don't understand, and it's almost like 
I'll be honest, this to me, it seems almost like a case study. Like someone is trying to figure out what all can they do to break you. Look at this, that the strength here, the energy, and here is the strength card. Some of you have grown. You're not a queen. You're a queen of cups. You have sympathy, empathy, dreams, visions. You're lighthearted. You're tender. You're mature. You're sweet. You're caring. You're endearing, whether male or female. You can tame any beast or lion. It is your love that can tame any beast. But these beasts, it's like they come into your life and you try to nurture them, care for you, and then they turn on you. These people who have chosen to turn on you, I'm telling you, I'm seeing things that are so dark and horrific. These people will not know what hit them and they won't be able to tell the story. Doubles. You see, it's two strength cards out here. Whatever these people thought that they were going to turn on you, it's not happening that way. You can transmute this energy. Things that are sent to attack you, you can transmute that energy and it will eventually work for you. And you have a lot of people, like I said, they're very confused. This is someone in their ego. Someone here is bored. I feel like, too, they do this, this magic or whatever they're doing. This is something that they're experiencing burnout from doing this. They keep doing it. And, they, and I keep saying, people keep trying. And, and for some of you, this is death magic. They're trying to take you out with magic. If it's not you, people around you. And it's not working. Every time they send this beast after you, it's transmuted. It's not happening. And they keep becoming very shocked. Look at this person. They're sitting there looking at this cup. This, this has something to do with your emotional state, with your energy. You know, the cups represent dreams, intuition. These people, they don't understand. How, how did you still get the dream download? How is it that your, your crown chakra, your third eye, how is it still open? How did you still get that offer or that opportunity? They're, these people, they watch your offers. And for some of you, especially if this has something to do with love, these individuals, they watch, they stalk, and they monitor your love life. Anything that can bring you emotional contentment, they stalk this. And they don't understand how... This cup for them is still empty. This is someone who is very jealous and envious because whatever you have or whatever you're receiving, they don't have it. This person is definitely doing some type of death magic. They want you to have death in all areas of your life. And I feel that a lot of you, you're still walking around and you're happy. Okay? You're in touch with your own reality. And this has someone very much. You are extremely powerful. You are indeed chosen and you most likely are either with or you will be connecting with someone else who was chosen, whether it's a business partnership, romantic or whatever. This is a part of your soul mission and contract and someone is constantly, constantly after you. I mean, it is a real sick obsession. In the readings lately, it's been coming out. People have mental diseases like this obsession here. And I've, I have readings where I've talked about people who have become obsessed even with dark magic. They're completely obsessed. They can't stop. And like I said, it's almost like a case study. It's like someone is, they're sending all of this stuff to you and they're trying to figure out what is going to work for you. I don't know if this is like a really powerful witch, wizard, warlock who is, is highly skilled. They can't take you out and it's like, it has become an obsession with trying to simply figure out not who you are, but what, what are you? Like somebody wants to know what type of bloodline, what type of, what kind of being are you? Because they can't take you out. These people, they're, they're becoming even obsessed. They want to know about your, your ancestry, your lineage, your heritage. These people really want to know where are you, where did you come from? Because what they're sending towards you and the power behind it, you should have been knocked out. But instead, you keep on walking out of every single cycle accomplished. If you notice this, this particular deck, you guys, it has um, 
kind of like a, a a regular tarot card and then um like an after card I, you could say um you can look you know the traditional world card but if you look here this person she's not in this in this circle barely draped in clothing like she's walking out fiercely you're not in the matrix you're not of this world you're in this world you're not of this world at all and you're meant to be a spiritual leader of some sort or you're very very close to god or the ascended masters or something i feel like you have been waiting perhaps or it's like you've been going through an awakening for some of you this awakening has taken a very long time because you are perhaps some type of ascended master you it's like you're in, you're like a, a god a goddess a, a master at something you're very well accomplished when it comes to who you are spiritually especially that's why i say never judge a book by its cover you may say in your human life right now you may not think you have much, but who you are spiritually, you have the star, the temperance, lovers, the world card, and the hierophant. What you have accomplished spiritually, it makes you almost invincible, untouchable. But yet people are still watching you. They're still stalking you. They, they are obsessed with monitoring you. It has taken a while for you to get through this awakening. For some of you, it's not so much that it has taken a long time, but you may have been wondering why have things in your life not happened. Something is very, very um, specific about your, your journey. And I'm pretty sure I've made reference to this video I did. It's probably been over six months and it may have even been a Sagittarius reading, but it was about the gift of mediumship and having a double mission. Some of you, you're waking up to who you were in past lives and you have past life karma, but there are certain things that you are destined to do in this lifetime and therefore there's nothing that can break you. You play such a huge role in this reality that we're currently in. There is nothing that can take you out or break you. And whoever these people are, they still don't understand that. They don't. I have plenty of readings talking about many of you being responsible for giving birth to certain type of children, certain type of businesses. The role that you play in the world that, that we see and know of right now, there's no way that a, any enemy could ever take you out. And these people, they're wasting their time. You're extremely liberated right now. Even, like I said, for some of you, you may not feel that way, but I'm telling you, you don't have much to worry about. Some of you, it's almost like you've been used as karmic bait. You've just been walking this planet and every single part, it's almost like God just used you to test, to test people. Not only did God use you, but you can even say like the devil has used you as well to clean up. This universe, it's almost like you are population control. That's what I just heard. To get rid of the like these dark people in masses, all they have to do is meet you. I'm hearing hide your wife, hide your kids. All they have to do is meet you, and if they don't treat you right, that's it for them. And I feel like a lot of people have crossed paths with you and they've been given opportunity after opportunity after opportunity to get it right or to simply just leave you alone and they won't. I'm telling you, they won't. They hear these readings and they still, they just keep going. They just keep going. Look, they come at you backwards. <laughs> No matter what, though, the horse has the most power. These people, I'm telling you, they, and I feel like they're feeding off of your energy, but they don't realize that the path that they're going, it's not their path. So even when they steal your energy, they're still being met with death, disease, and destruction because they're on a path that's not for them. They're trying to steal a destiny that's not for them. These people don't understand that they're being allowed to do this for a reason. They're, they're just digging their own grave. They're being allowed to do this. 
And every time they get caught, they get closer. They find a way to get closer to you. One spell doesn't work. They send somebody else in. The next ritual doesn't work. They get closer to you. They want to study you. These people, they want to tap your phone. They want to, you know, send out different spirits to watch you and to monitor you. Nothing is working. These people really don't understand that every single thing that they're watching, they're being watched. <laughs> I don't, I mean, I honestly, I just don't get it. I feel so bad for these people, but there's nothing that can be done. Look. Do you see the energies coming out? This is not this is not a, a, a sun god that's a child. This is someone fully grown. <laughs> when you become this this being here of pure light, that's the reason why everything that these people are sending to you, they're being attacked with it. Every monitoring spirit that they send towards you, those monitoring spirits, demonic spirits and entities, it's attacking these people because your light is blinding them. They shouldn't have ever come for you. You didn't sin for any of these people. And again, for some of you, because I just did that reading about these galactic beings, many of you, you're not from here. The gifts, the talents, the qualities, the DNA, <laughs> the royalty in your DNA. I'm telling you, these people, they don't, they don't even recognize your, your species. They don't know what you are, how you are, how you got here or anything. And it's like they're, they're playing around, like trying to study you. I don't know what they're doing. I don't know if this is a, 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 a case study going on, but I'm t I don't understand how any person will be this obsessed with trying to, for some of you, it doesn't even seem like they're trying to, to end you. Because they want, these people want to watch you. They want to see how you react and respond. This isn't just about ending, because if they ended you, they will have nothing to live for. These people, their life is based on them watching and monitoring you. Their whole life. This really feels like somebody's life or their job. It is to watch you. And they keep upping the ante. They want to see, well, what are you going to do when we do this attack? What is this person going to do when we put them in? I don't know what this is. Like, I don't know what in the Hunger Games type of situation this is. But it's something very, very dark. And it's going to backfire. Because, look, here you have it. There's the star coming out again. Someone is, they're not you. I don't care how strong they are. They're not you. They are no match for you. They're not a match for you. I don't understand. There's always someone bigger and better. Nothing is wrong with that. Stay in your lane. Play your role in your position and play it well. Somebody is not accepting the fact that they are no match for you. Why are you competing where you do not compare? This person is down trying to figure something you've already gone you've already gone through where this person has you've been where they've gone you've you've already accomplished whatever they're trying to start now but yet they keep on trying to battle you for what i don't y'all i promise i don't understand let me just read the emperor queen of cups high priestess like come on you have divine protection around you. This emperor energy, it's around you at all times to ensure that you can freely practice. You can freely create. You can freely live. Yeah, I'm, the days are, are hard. The nights are long. But at the end of the day, you will win. You will always prevail. You're the high priestess. You know things that these other people, they could never know. And that's why they keep trying to tap into your energy. And even when they tap into your energy, everything is scattered. You call the shots. You're the judge. You're the judge and the jury when it comes to these people. And they don't get that. You're, the, you're their judge and jury. They're plotting against you. You're the judge and jury. Like... I've been talking about this for years. 
you're the spiritual judge and yet it's like they're trying to put you on the stand. They want you on trial. They want you on the stand. <laughs> These people are foolish. Very foolish. They don't know what they're up against. And it, 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 it's something very deep to this, you guys. And I'm, I won't even get into it, especially here on YouTube. But I see exactly what's going on. This is very deep. This goes beyond most human comprehension. This this is everything that's behind the veil. And it's starting to become a little bit more clear. But a lot of people, they still really don't know what's happening here. They don't. And it's not meant for them to. But a lot of you, you do. That's why here, look at the temperance card here. This temperance card here, this person, earth angel, could, could be someone new on their journey. They're trying to figure things out. You're still, you know, practicing transmuting alchemy trying to figure out the best way you got one foot in one foot out this person here fully in their purpose like i said you you've mastered alchemy transmutation healing protection you can rest when these people are attacking you you can rest because you already know what's behind the veil it's almost like you are a part of creating the veil. How can you tell me what you're going to do to me as if what you're doing to me is hidden? These people don't know who they're dealing with. And they keep on getting blowback after blowback every single time they take action. Every single time. But yet they won't stop. They're obsessed. These people really, they just, it's something about you. And this reading may not resonate with everyone, but it's something about you. It's something about the magic that you're made up of that these people, they, I don't know if they want it, if they want to copy it, they want to steal it. I don't know. They can't steal it. They can't turn it off. <laughs> it's like if they could put it in a bottle and sell it, they would. It reminds me of the show True Blood. They, they if you watch the, the show, they eventually did. They wanted the vampires eventually wanted like the fairy blood. Because it was something in that blood that would allow them pretty much to be able to be in the light. These people have lost most of their. Their gifts, talents and abilities that they were earning by taking the energy of these light beings. I, I keep saying they've been walking like walking around just cheating their way through life harvesting energy now that a lot of people are waking up to who they actually are they can't do that so now it's almost like they want to take your energy conserve it bottle it up somehow like these people they want to make sure that there is a permanent core to you so that they can exist a lot of you don't realize how many entities you have attached to you as a multi-dimensional being, you have a lot of people walking around that you look at like it's friends and family. These are all types of spirits and entities that are using your energy to, to actually just stay here. These people know that their time is up because they can't feed off of you. You see what they're doing now. The whole point was for them to walk around and, and be able to blend in. If you know, you know. <laughs> if you know you know they can't blend in anymore what did I say the spirits that they keep sending towards you they've run out of steam why because they, they don't have the same access to your energy some of you these are um, different entities in your bloodline lovers family, friends, or whomever. These people, they not, they're not supposed to be here anymore anyway. The only thing that's keeping some of these people alive and able to function is the fact that they have access to you. That's it. They would have been dead and gone a long time ago if it wasn't for you. You're what saves and protects the majority of these people. But they don't understand that who you are, and we don't have to talk about it here because like I said, a lot of you, you already know what's up here. The minute that you step away 
it's over for them. So they have to do all the spell work and the rituals and everything else because they need to make you think that you like them. They don't want you to remember that they've done all kinds of things to you and your family in multiple lifetimes. They don't want you to wake up to that and remember it because then you'll instantly cut that supply off. This is a lot of narcissistic people, but it's deeper than that. But they're running out of energy now. They can't get your energy like they could before. You're too powerful. You see everything behind the veil. Nothing is hidden. That third eye crown chakra is open. That's the reason why the mind control, the domination spells. That's why people now, they want to play with energy work. They want your chakras to blow out. They want you depressed. They want you losing your mind and losing control. No, you're fully aware and awakened. Don't you dare let these people play you like you're not the empress or not the emperor you know exactly who you are and you can see the devil clearly because you are fully awakened so don't for a minute second guess yourself you see what you see you hear what you hear you feel what you feel for a reason i feel like a lot of you you could even have friends and family members who have said stuff. the people that they're claiming are bipolar schizophrenic and everything else that they want in mental facility these people are gifted they want to lock away every single person that can see the truth everybody that can see the truth they want to sacrifice you People better wake up. I don't know how many of you heard about the story about the little seven-year-old girl in Texas who within an hour after a driver pretty much took her, she's no longer here. It's been over the, on the news. I don't watch the news, but I've seen it just in passing like on social media. But her name was Athena. Y'all better wake up. <laughs> the signs are there if you pay attention. Her name was Athena. You look it up for yourself. Who Athena was. This stuff isn't happening for no reason. Because a lot of people, Gemini energy, they show you one thing. That's not who these people actually are. Full moon in Gemini, that energy is lingering. The last full moon of the year. These people, they have assignments. For this year because next year everything will be in full motion so the goal is to stop they want to stop everything from rolling they don't even realize that this game is already over <laughs> heavy scorpio energy more scorpio energy here's three cards of scorpio water energy as well this is this is deep this is mystery vengeance a lot of mystery these people come from from hidden worlds and hidden realms but they don't know where you come from that's what this is about a lot of these people they carry this power they 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 walk around with this chip on their shoulder like oh well you know I know this, so I come from here. <laughs> they haven't ran across you and your, and, and your kind yet. I don't care where you say you're from. <laughs> it's nothing you can show me. Judgment is here. Yeah, and it's coming in quickly. Y'all, this is really no joke. It's not. I feel like a lot of people, too, who are awakening, you know, there's good and bad with anything. A lot of people who are awakening, even with their gifts, they're using it for all of the wrong things. And they're not authorized. They're not cleared. To do the things that they're doing. Some people have been doing this for a long time. You have a lot of people. For some of you who may be fairly new to your journey. Or a lot of people who of course aren't practicing magicians. 
you have people around you. This is their lifestyle. Their whole family is into magic and spell work and conjuring and casting and all kinds of stuff. It's a hidden world. These are all things hidden. But somebody, some, some people can naturally see all things that are hidden. And those individuals, I guess for these people are a threat. But it's like a lot of people who may be able to see or whatever. Nobody really cares. Every, we all have to coexist here together. It'll never be a world where there is no good or no bad. We all will forever be here together. You stay in your lane and, and let other people stay in their lane. It's simple. I just feel like it's crazy that people keep attacking the light ones. For what? Because of your gift? The, and, and it's crazy because it's the gift that they want. And it, it's I don't understand how they don't realize you will never have the gift without the ones who carry the gift. So now it's even different people. They, they want to procreate and co-create with light beings because, like I said, they still want to be attached. These people aren't as smart as they think they are. Main female. Courthouse. Occupation, thief, wow. You have people out here who are in positions of authority and they're thieves. These people are in bad health. They want you in bad health. In despair, they want you in jail. They feel like you're a rat, you tell the truth. For some of you, you know, to me, what I'm seeing here is pretty deep, but for some of you, it, it's not so deep. For some of you, this is simply just people around you that don't want you to be in a partnership or a relationship. Some of you, you have people around you that are so jealous and envious and obsessed with you because you're happily married or you have business contracts or partnerships that's going well or you're supposed to be, you know, going towards business opportunities, projects, marriages, commitments. These people are obsessed. They wake up and they go to bed every single day. Watching, monitoring, stalking, hacking, spying. They keep their eye on your cup. At all times. They want to know who's coming into your life. Who's leaving your life. What job are you getting? What job are you leaving? Where are you living? What are you doing? They want to know everything. It has become an obsession. How can they somehow dictate and control your life and they just they they work to steal these people their job is to steal from you i don't these these are just agents they're agents of of darkness their job they've been us the you don't you need to know you've been assigned people they've they've been given orders to steal from you that's their like that's their purpose. Yeah. Cause they feel like you're a privileged lady. You have a gift that creates privileges or a lifestyle for you. Or they know that you're tapping into a gift that in the distant horizons will bring about family. Courtship, happiness, marriage, success. Something could be very significant about December twenty sixth. Third and the twenty fourth. A lot will change in the next two weeks. A lot. House, yeah. Stability, security. These people want to steal all of your privileges. Some like it's your rights. They don't want you to have rights or privileges. For some of you, this is people in your family. They don't want you to be on deeds or wills or they don't want you to inherit certain things they feel like you already have enough or you have too much so whatever you're expected to have they want to take that from you and they work on this day and night they hire people to do this some of you have friends family members ex-lovers 
for some current partners, these people have so many, they, they've had so many investigators on payroll. It's, it's sickening. And it's interesting because whatever it is about you, every person that is, is sent, every person that is paid to hurt you, harm you, watch, hack, spy, or pry, they all become obsessed with you. Everybody wants to know how are you doing whatever it is that you're doing. And I don't think that you even know what you're doing. I can't say even from this reading what you're doing because it's different for every person. But a lot of you is just simply the fact that you are actually an earth angel. For some of you, you have some type of star qualities about yourself. Some of you, you are true healers. It has a lot to do with your purpose, your destiny. There's something about your destiny that is so bright that it's like it has every person that you know completely frightened. I, I mean, I really don't know what this is that some of you, whoever this reading read, I don't know what type of life you're destined for. Some of you are meant to be stars. I'm assuming you're meant to be very well known. Maybe in, a, in a, some years you'll have a freaking star in Hollywood. I don't know. like. And some of you are from different places that watch, but it's something about you. Your future or you're supposed to create something. This lover's card is your choice in life. It's your path. It's your soul mission and contract. It's who you were created to be. Temperance, earth angel energy. Some of you are shamans, you're healers. You're shapeshifters or you know about shapeshifters. I feel like this has a lot to do with some of you being healers and people are upset that you actually know that these shapeshifters who have done so much dark and wicked stuff here who are starting, they're having problems with blending in and now they're pissed off at you. So to keep you from ascending, the goal is to keep you busy with heartache, pain, they want to keep you suffering and in despair. This is all going to backfire. Marriage. Some of you, this is a, it's really something about you having a home, marriage, stability, security. If this isn't this stuff being done because of you, you are being targeted because of someone that you're coming into the connection or union with. For some of you, you and whoever you were, you're meant to be a real serious like power couple or the two of you could be stars, maybe celebrities. And a lot of people, they don't desire to have fame or fortune. But it's something about your purpose, your destiny that brings about something like very big. It's grand. And for some of you, it is a partnership, honestly. It's a twin flame connection between two stars. It's like a star here and an earth angel. Someone may not be as spiritual or as deep into their life mission and purpose as the other right now, but the two of you are still meant to be in this contract together. There's supposed to be a marriage here. And I don't know, for some of you, it's a person that is watching and monitoring your life. They see that like you're supposed to be with someone very. I'm assuming like, you know, this has to be about money. You know, money makes a lot of people go crazy. Somebody does not want you to have the privileges that come with some type of partnership here. If it's if it's not a, a romantic relationship, it's a business partnership that you're meant to have. Well, I don't, I, I'm assuming you're just going to be very, very wealthy, very well known. But it's very interesting because the energy I get, you don't desire either one. You don't desire fame or fortune, but it's written in the stars for you to have that. Some of you, you have people in your life who are wealthy right now. And I'm telling you, they're paying top dollar to monitor your life so that you do not come into this type of abundance. I, I feel like somebody is going almost broke. They're spending so much money.
And for some and 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 honestly, going back to kind of the first story, if this is a case study, oh, people have put a lot of money into watching people like you. This is this is it's a lot going on right now. Hidden truths, it's it's a lot of stuff hidden that's coming out. Yeah, message of concern. Somebody's gonna receive a message of concern about a child. I just said that you saw me shuffle. I just, I, concerned. Someone is concerned about a child. Now for some, someone could find out that they are expecting. This child is a, is a gift. Which I've talked a lot about. Some of you, you're meant to give birth to like a, a sun god. You know, I something very significant about like a child. I was just talking the other day about immaculate conception. There was the, the feast of immaculate conception was on December 8th. So about a week ago, some of you, you will be receiving a message of concern. I feel some of you, there could be like an unplanned pregnancy. But this is a gift. In the distant horizons. Yeah, that makes sense. Look at these cards. You have two different healers. Two, you know, healers, celebrities, stars, or whatever. Your contract here is most is probably to give birth to an angel. I'm telling you. This this is much bigger than you. This is not for some of you. I want you to think bigger. This isn't just friends and family. Like, oh, we don't want you to be in a relationship. For some of you, it's like a whole secret society that knows who you're supposed to give birth to. Somebody somewhere. It's not a person. This is a group. This is a whole group. It's almost I'm telling. It's almost like a case study. Somebody knows. I feel like someone has been scouted and targeted. Like somebody knows, like you're supposed to create or birth something or someone. And you're being targeted by so many people. Yep. Wealthy man and high honor. I told you. Wealthy man, high honor. And here we have a family room. Community. Toil and labor. And great fortune. Man, I don't know where some of you live or where you're meant to live or where you're meant to go. But you're supposed to be a, a part of some type of community. You're going to be a person of high honor. It's like you're meant to have a new beginning with someone very wealthy. You're most likely going to have a child with this person. But you are a very, very high honor. And whatever this contract is that you have, it comes with great fortune. Some of you are marrying into money, to be honest. Or by someone marrying you, they will be marrying into money. But whatever the spiritual inheritance is that you have, when it comes to this union, this business, this baby, or whatever this new beginning is, when I tell you it, it has caused so much spiritual warfare for you I don't think that you recognize it and I'm sitting here I'm telling you right now it's hidden I can't I see stuff but it's not I can't put that out there you know I feel like a lot of people who are experiencing this even readers who can see this energy it's it's kind of like people need to be on a, a strictly just need to know basis. I'll tell you only what you need to know. The rest, you have to go through this. People are literally being hunted down right now. It's a lot. I, I mean, I, I, I record so many videos that I just don't post. 
And I know people, when they hear me say, they're like, oh, no, Tori, post, post, post. It's really for your own protection because I can't control what comes out. But a lot of people, they don't need to know this information about you. Because I'm telling you, people, they already know a lot about you. And the problem is that they know things about you that you don't know about you. You should have known, but they've done magic and rituals on you for so long so that you wouldn't know. This was done purposely. Some of you, people have been doing stuff to you since you were a child or since the age of around 18. People have been doing magic and rituals on you. Somebody knew something about your future. Somebody has known something about you possibly since you were around the age of two or three. Some of you who get into a connection, there's going to be an age difference. This age difference could be, I mean, like 12, uh, like a 12 year age difference for some of you. That's not for everyone. But I do see some of you going into connections with people who could be significantly older than you or younger than you. I'm also seeing, too, there's something about this community in high honor. For some of you, I just want you to know at some point. Especially depending on who you marry. Now, you could be marrying somebody that has a, t a different background or culture or something from you. But for some of you, your life is going to drastically change. Like, I'm seeing some of you, like, moving. I mean, like, moving internationally. I'm talking about, like, your entire life will change. This is somebody tapping into, like, some type of royal family it, it almost seems like a, a real royal family here and i don't want to be one of those because a lot of people are becoming privy to this stuff but every every person is not going to be you know a, a, in a royal family but for some of you this is definitely you possibly marrying into money you being a part of a very affluent family or that's what you are destined to create for yourself but I'm definitely seeing there is wealth here somewhere. And I mean spiritual and material. There is wealth. And it has a lot to do with the partnership. Great fortune is here on the marriage. Some of you, I'm telling you, either once you get married, you and this person are going to create a lot of wealth and abundance. Or you are marrying into some serious money. And somebody is trying everything to stop this. And I can't tell if they're trying to, like, destiny swap. They want this to be their life. But it's like somebody is not reading the fine print. They can't live your life. I mean, some people, there's things that they they can get. This, whatever this is that I'm picking up, this is protected. You know, you may say, oh, I want that car. They got the car. It's a lot of stuff that I feel like some people, they have swapped with you. They, But whatever this is, this huge, huge blessing, it's your soul contract. This can be changed. People have thought that, oh, thank you, spirit. Th this right here is the message. And I'm going to get it. People have been able to take things from you that you chose for yourself. You chose their partner. You chose their job. You chose their house. You know, you chose to have kids with that person or whatever. The things that you chose when you were unawakened, these people were able to take from you. Ooh, when I tell you I feel the Holy Ghost, like I feel the Holy Spirit all over me right now. I feel like for some of you, you told people, you know, I want this. I want this child. I want this house. I want this. I want that. And they took it from you. They took it. With spell work, magic, and everything, they took everything from you that you wanted. The reason why they cannot touch this is because it is your soul contract. It's your birthright. You can never take that. So, yeah, you took that person. 
that 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 someone said they wanted to be with, but that wasn't their God or their spouse anyway. Oh yeah, you took that job from that person, but that's not the job that's gonna make them a billionaire. People were able to take all the things from you that were never meant for you anyway. And now that they're still trying to take it, they don't understand why they can't take it. See, what happened is they were able to see your future and they said, yes, I want it. They wanted that golden opportunity to, to be you. And they took a lot of stuff. For some of you, this has been going on 10, 12, 14 years. It's been going on a lot. They've been taking, taking, taking. Who you are now and what you have coming, that's a part of your birthright that was supposed to come and divide. Nobody can touch it. Nobody. There's no, there's no ritual, no spell or anything. If every single person that ever has tried to come against you has to fall at once, that's what will happen. This, there's no way. They can't touch you. Not now. You're in your life purpose. You're fully awakened. Nothing more can be done. These people don't have any choice but to just surrender at this point. Because it's, it's really like do or die. They either leave you alone or they die. And a lot of them, the truth is they, they'll never leave you alone. So, I mean, they pretty much like steal their own fate because they just won't stop. It's like I hear Psalms 91 in my head. It's like, seriously, a thousand may fall at your side. Like, literally, a thousand may fall at your side. And 10,000 at your right hand. But nothing will come near you. You're walking, talking karma. You're like karmic bait for people. You're population control. I, that's what I heard, seriously. You're like population control. I don't know if you... Are you the death angel? I don't know. Because this is the energy that it carries. Like if someone gets in your way... At this point in your life, they have to like be ended in some type of way. They they must be stopped. Wow. That's what I'm really getting, seriously. Any person that dare comes up against this, and it's interesting how I set these cards over here. Because you live a set apart life. Any person that comes between this path of yours, this contract, this union, the birth of this child, I'm telling you, they will be met with all types of death, disease, and destruction. I feel like the death angel is out. I'm telling you, I sat, I sat in the middle of a storm today. Hail falling everywhere. I did not flinch. I was not the least bit afraid. That's how I, <laughs> it's, a, it's a different type of feeling. If you know, you know. If you know, you know. I feel like the people that keep, they should be very afraid. I mean, very afraid. And I'm not saying that it's 3.41 a.m. right now. I'm up. I'm, I'm saying it because it's the truth. People should be very afraid of who they come up against right now. I don't care what you thought. You heard, you saw, or, or what you thought you knew. You need to be very, very careful right now. Because nothing is as it seems. And it's becoming very clear. Regeneration. <laughs> it's a lot of spirits being regenerated. Yang. Loyal heart. Peace, <laughs> a change in the wind, and mending. And what did I say? It has to be done by the book. There is no other way. Fork in the road with the unfinished symphony. Some of you, I'm telling you, 
if this isn't you, the person that you are connecting with is so powerful. I did that. I had a two hour reading last week and it took me a whole week to post it. I was never going to post that reading. These different gods, goddesses, galactic beings, aliens, or whatever you want to call, they're here. And I feel like for some of you, the ones that have been here, somebody knows some stuff about you. That's all I'm going to say. I don't know what this is. I keep hearing population control. So I don't know if this is people trying to, what well, you have certain people who are trying to stop certain beings from being produced, we'll say. Because there are these godlike beings who are ready to produce it's a it's a part of the plan this is this is a different kind of war we talk about this is this is not just it's spiritual warfare but this is something else i'm not yeah <laughs> spirit was like yeah you need to shut that down if you know you know i'm gonna leave yang loyal heart Whatever is for you, is for you. Whatever person or being is for you, I'm telling you, I wouldn't play with it. See, some of these people, I'll, I'll say this before I, I turn up. Some people have been coming up against some of you guys because of a masculine. <laughs> Let me tell you something. Karmics. I don't like to use that word, but for the sake of discussion, karmics, y'all got masculines. <laughs> that was never supposed to be with certain feminines anyway it was easy for you to get these people and keep them because they was never divine feminist person you got bamboozled you made a fool out of yourself and now population control is here to take care of you because you was a fool <laughs> it's a big joke on a lot of people you was dumb you was foolish you were ignorant. You a lot of people really thought that they were stealing stuff. That was bait for you. A lot of you guys, you are so pissed off because oh, you're not in a union with this person. If you really knew who you were supposed to be in a union with, if you really knew why you had been going 10, 15, 20 years of battling to be with this type of person, you would never think twice about that person. You find on the karmic is marrying your so-called masculine who really isn't your masculine or that person marrying your so-called feminine who really you should send them a wedding gift. You should buy out the whole registry. That Like that should be your attitude. Right? I will buy out the entire registry for you and that person. I'm t Whatever was taken from you, let them have it. Let them have it. It was never yours anyway. God is about to blow your mind. Peace. Peace is going to come into your life like a ch it's a change in the wind here. That person that has been protecting a lot of you in the in the 5D, in the spiritual. For some of you, that's not just that's not a regular just, oh, it's a divine master. These are gods like protecting you who want to co-create and procreate. Are you worried about a man or a woman? <laughs> you better leave them people where they at. I had to go back Mississippi on y'all. You better leave them people where they at. Seriously, like, <laughs> don't worry about it. It is nothing. So this over here, this high honor that you're supposed to, Leave everybody where they are. Friends, family, lovers, the dog, the cat. Leave them all where they at. Don't worry about it. Somebody needs to hear that. Because you still pressed about something that was never for you. You still feel like, oh, they took something. They took from you what was supposed to be taken from you. 
It was never meant for you anyway. That was the illusion. And these people are still trying to make you think that something is for you that's not for you. What is for you can't be taken from you. Do you, are these people that a lot of you with relationships, especially these people that you've been waiting on for the stuff. Let me tell you, cause I had to think about this myself for you to go through everything that you've been through. You really think that that feminine or masculine that you think is for you, that if they were connected to you spiritually, they could allow you to suffer like this and they not ever step in and you still think that person is for you. You better let that karmic person have them. There's no way. You have people who you've never even met who have been protecting you. For some of you, I see this. So you have a wealthy man or woman that wants me. These people have people following you and watching you because they know you're in danger and they haven't even met you themselves yet. That's how deep this is for some of you. You are precious cargo to someone. So for everything else that's happening, yeah, I get it. It's been a game coming, but the life that you have coming, you won't even think about this anymore. But you're going to have to allow yourself to embrace this new life. You, I see you guys, you're still in the comments. And they did this and they did that. So what? Let them have it. It's like somebody coming to steal your purse. And gump, let them have it. It's do or die. Let Do it. Let them have it. Give it to them. Here, you, you can have it. You can have Take the, 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 the man, the woman, the kids, the dog, the child. Let them have it all. Just give it to them. You've far, you've far exceeded these people and these situations from your past. You have awakened now. You it's gonna I I know for some you gonna have to get used to that, but it's a shift that's here. If you know, you know. That's all I can say.